Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Octopath Traveler. Uh, today, we are going to finish Alfin's story. So just finishing stories back to back. Let's see. The story so far. In Saintsbridge, Alfin used his talents to save the life of a thief named Miguel. But as soon as the man could walk again, he kidnapped and wounded an innocent boy. Was Alfin wrong to believe in what he believed? Was Ogan right? Are some lives truly not worth saving? Elfin looked to the sky. Tell me, what would you have done? But there were no answers to be found. And so, with self-doubt festering in his heart, Elfin arrived in the town of Orwell. You know, I... I've come all this way. And I feel like I found more questions than answers. You listening up there? Still no sign for me, huh? Hmm. Better snap out of it before a wrong step puts me at the bottom of this canyon. Howdy there. Why so glum? Glum. The truth is. Glum. Oh, woe is me. Me poor wife and kids are fighting for their lives. Why'd this damned plague have to come into our poor village? Haven't we suffered enough? At Satchel Beers. I don't reckon you're an apothecary. <laughs> I reckon I am. The plague you speak of is what brought me here. Oh. Oh, thank the heavens. For once the gods smile upon us. Let's go. Just show me to my patience. I'll do... Well, I'll do the best I can. Fair and well. Oh, thank you. Pray follow me. Huh? I beg pardon if I'm just imagining things, friend. But is something the matter? You're looking awful, gl oh, awful gloom yourself. Glum. Oh, it's nothing. Nothing at all. Now, we should hurry. Yikes. Can't let them see me brooding. At any rate, I have a job to do. Kadzooks. Kadzooks. Just look at all. What? What is Kadzooks? I'm coming in. Oh, it's Ogan. The hell's? Wait, that's. Excuse me. Before I begin the treatment, I would like to know a few things about you. That'll do. Sorry to pry. Now, let's see what we can do about your cough. Oh, thank you, Mr. Uh. The name's Ogan. Name's Ogan. I'm a traveling apothecary of sorts. Little bird told me your village was in rough shape, so here I am. Oh. Not one, but two apothecaries come to our humble home. <laughs> May half the flame shines bright upon us yet. How could we ever repay you? I'll be on my way. I think nothing of it. Forgive me. Well. Thought your hands were steadier than that, old man. Howdy. We keep meeting, eh? You. You again? Figured you'd have given up and gone home already. But, seems you're made of stronger stuff than that. <laughs> Damn right I am. Take away my medicine and... Dogged grit, and there'd be nothing left, save for a love for a good drink. <laughs> if you say so. Mind if we shoot the breeze? Anyhow. Uh... What with all the pa 
patience me tending. It's good to have you around. What say we team up? Two sets of hands are... Eh? I think not. Thanks, but no thanks. I always work alone. <sighs> How did I know you say that? Oh, man. It's getting, getting late. <sighs> As you like, I'll do the same. Now. Oof, that takes care of everyone. And I dare say I've worked up quite the thirst. Think I'll hit the tavern. See you around, Dogan. fellow gave you some medicine just now, yes? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks be to the flame, he most certainly did. Let me see it. Let me see it. It'll only take a moment. Uh-oh, did I goof? Um... Say, Alfin? What is it, Tressa? I'm feeling a bit tired, truth be told. And my back is killing me. Alvin looks like he's feeling down. Guess I should say something. As long as you're around, you're, you'll cure any illness I get, right? Right. Because you always brew the best medicine you possibly can, right? Darn right. But your potions are still nothing compared to Ogans, right? got that hey wait a minute what's that supposed to mean I'd pit my cures against his any day of the week I'll show you who's a tough pock there around here just you watch <laughs> too easy oh Tressa too easy <laughs> a flagon of your strongest my good man Something eating away at you, friend? <laughs> Shucks, is it that obvious? Well... Might as well be written on your face. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's nothing. Er, just a, a... A lost love. One I'm already in the midst of forgetting. Hmm. If you're trying to win me over, you're gonna have to try harder than that. Dang. She's Whoa. shot down. And there she goes. <sighs> Lying isn't your strong suit, is it? Hmm. So I'm not the only one who needed a stiff one. Long day? Ah. <laughs> Heed my words, boy. Tell too many lies, even little white ones. One day you'll forget what the truth is. You don't say. <laughs> Thanks for the diagnosis. <sighs> Saw the medicine you gave the villagers back there. Sloppier than before. Almost as it almost as if your heart wasn't in it. Oh? Nothing gets past you, does it? Tell the truth. All this time I've been thinking. Who what am I really doing this for? These days. I just don't know. I can't find an answer. Nah. <laughs> Nor I. And I wager I've been searching for a fair bit longer. Hmm. <laughs> you don't say. Huh? Hey. Is it me or are your hand shaking? I'm afraid the answer is no. <sighs> I think you've had one. had one L too many. We're both exhausted, I'm sure. Get a good night's sleep. <laughs> right. There are no answers. 
Not for me. Not, not for all Hogan. Hey, yo. Alfin, Alfin. Oh? Hey there. What can I do for you? Well. Me fever. It's getting worse by the hour. Oh. Hogan was taking care of you, wasn't he? Could he have botched the dose? Ha, ha, ha. the thought. What? Sir Ogan's a thousand times the puck there you'll ever be. Oh, is this a bad dream of his? Why, you... If you're so god's darn fond of that old grump... <laughs> I, I jest, I jest. Please, sir, I beg your help. Pastor Ogan's worn too thin to impose. What? Worn thin? <laughs> Why, just today, he must have dropped his tools some twenty-odd times. Later, he started coughing something terrible, and just... Then he just wandered away. Hmm. That doesn't sound right. The fact is... What? With all the patients he's been seeing, no wonder he's tired and all. Hmm. Melissa, please, please forgive me. <gasps> now that's a bad dream. Not not the real life incident where people just bully Alfin, but rip this guy. <coughs> Oh no. And he's like coughing up blood now? Oh jeez. So this is. No rest for the weary. My patients are waiting. Should walk around the town and see if anyone else needs my help. Let's see what else there is to say. <laughs> I must say, Alfin, you seem to be enjoying yourself at the L House yesterday. <laughs> yeah, me and me'd get along just fine. I could tell the number of times I had to fill your mug. You should thank me, you know. <laughs> I suppose I should. But you could afford Ogan to drink from time to time, too. The man seemed to prefer his own company. Ah, uh, don't worry. He's just a old grump anyway. But I figure he'd cheer up quick if you showed him a dance or two. Mm -hmm. There's real magic in the way you move on stage. It'll brighten up anyone's day. A smooth tar talker, are we now? Hey, it ain't just talk. I'm telling you, I bet even Ogan wouldn't be able to tear his eyes away. <laughs> and maybe I will pour him a drink next time. But first, we gotta go make sure people aren't like dead. Hmm. Hmm, is that Ogan? Who else would it be? You're too kind. Saved my life, Traveler. How could I ever repay you? Just doing my job. Just doing my job. And with that, I'll be on my way. Hey, you. Feeling all right? Not so fast, old man. You. You again? What's the matter? What's this I hear about you dropping your tools and hacking all over your patients? <laughs> Not one for tact, are ya? What's the matter? What's the matter? Got a bad case of the runs? Afraid the answer is no. <sighs> Even if I did, it'd be none of your concern. Come on now. <laughs> right, right. Whatever. Just... Why don't I just take a quick look? That'll do. Well, why don't you just mind your own business? <laughs> Come on, old man. Believe it or not, I'm worried about you. <laughs> How touching. But look, I know my body as well as... <coughs> well, down he goes. He gets. Good grief. You're getting a checkup whether you like it or not. <sighs> Keep your bloody hands off me. <laughs> told you, I'm perfectly aware of what's happening to my... 
Huh? So you knew you were about to hawk up all that blood, eh? No. You're sicker than a dog. That'd be one sorry apothecary to let you walk away untreated. Now, be a good patient here. Nah. Go ahead and treat me then, if you can. Son of a... Still don't trust me, son of a... Oof. I like how sassy Alfin is with, like, everything. Hell's in tarnation? <sighs> Holy... You're falling apart inside the hand out. Your forehead's nigh on fire, and what in places is this horrible purple rash? It's a miracle that you're even standing. How could you let yourself get in this state? Don't you get it? If you don't treat this, you're going to die. Hi. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. What the? If you knew, then why? It's none of your concern. Even if I told you, what would you be able to do about it? Nothing. That's what. He just, he just wants to die already, because... He's super sad I'm about his wife. Way. Feels bad. Forget about me, Alfin. For both our sakes. <sighs> Someone around here must know something about Ogan. Let's see what uh, let's see what Ulbrich has to say about it. But I wonder why. Hmm. The man's face was the face of one who had given up all hope. Had he lost his reason to live? Was he so tortured by the sins of his past? Either way, it's a darn fool that lives life as if he wants to end it. Just so. But it would behoove us to learn what makes him act in such a manner. If there's anything I might do, do not hesitate to ask. I won't. You're a good man to talk to when things are bothering me and my blood is up. Whenever you need my ear, you only need to say the word. Thanks, Ulbrich. It's good having you around. Can't very well leave things alone. After all, that man. What about that man? Hello. Do you have anything? Muttering the name Melissa. Yeah. Maybe mention that. Look at the old man talking. Maybe getting this chest will give us some. <laughs> Not really. Hey, gonna talk to us now? Uh, how do you know her name? Yep. I uh, I've been talking around. I told you the story of how I came to choose my patients. Yes. <sighs> you told me how you lost your dear wife. She was murdered in cold mud, blood, by a man uh, whose life you saved. Aye. Aye, but the story doesn't end there. <sighs> mm -hmm. After that, I set off on a journey. I had no hopes, no aspirations. I just wanted to help someone, anyone, in any way I could. Anything to do Melissa proud. But, but it wasn't to be. One day, in a far-flung village, I found him. The man who murdered my beloved. Criminy. He had a family of his own. A wife, a boy, of some five summers. When I saw them together smiling and laughing, something broke inside of me. So I waited till nightfall and snuck upon the man when he was alone and left him in the same shape he left my dear Melissa. It can't be! You... you, you can't be. <sighs> it was a strange feeling. Though saving his life took days. Ending it took but an instant. 
humans, human life's a fleeting and fragile thing, eh? I fled from the village as fast as I could. From there, I continued my journey as if nothing had happened. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? None of these people knew the man that saved their lives stole another. I can't bear to think of the pain and suffering I inflicted on the man's family. So, I don't. But every day I ask myself, what right do I have to play God with these blood-stained hands? Time and time and again I thought of ending my own life, but too much a of a coward to do the deed. <sighs> How many years has it been now? My travels, my body has come to be ravaged by every plague and pestilence our realm has known. But never once have I thought of treating myself. I'm a murderer, a sinner. And mine is not a life worth saving. Do you see now, Alfred? This is the answer I found. Feeling a bit tired. Pray, leave me for to rest for a while. And now Alfin's got to take care of him because Alfin doesn't discriminate. That stubborn bastard. You got to do it. You have to. Ain't there nothing in here that'll help at a time like this? Oh, what a mess. Been too busy to clean it out all this time. Hogan is determined to die. That's the answer he's come to. After a long and harrowing journey. What right do I have to think I know better? That's what you do, you save people. Besides, what could I do for him anyhow? Oh, we can find something to do. I barely managed to get by as it is. How do I even go about fixing a busted soul? I'm just one man. One small, insignificant man. Damn it all. Mm hmm? A letter? To my dear friend Alfin. When oh, you find this letter. Zeph. No doubt you'll be off in some far-flung village somewhere. How nice. I was more than happy to urge you on in your journey. But truth be told, I was just a bit worried about you. Worried that along the way, you'd find someone and take on all their pain and suffering as your own. You've always had a sensitive streak after all. But... Should you ever find yourself losing the courage of your convictions? Remember what we learned together. Zeph. Zeph, you're back! That I am, Mina. about. Now, I've always admired your selflessness. In helping others, you think nothing of yourself. In that sense, you're the best apothecary and the best friend anyone could ask for. You have nothing to worry about, nothing to fear. So go out there, Alf, and do what you feel is right. With your heart at ease and your head held high. P.S. This is far too embarrassing to say in person, 
So I'll just hide this letter underneath all your stuff. That's so... So true. That's like the truest thing that has happened in this game. Just reading that, my face is as red as a beet. Oh. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I really got myself worked up over nothing, didn't I? I know what I need to do. And gods be damned if anyone will keep me from doing it. Ain't that right, Zeph? I'll show everyone what I believe in. Including you. Wherever you are. And you too, Ogin. Just you wait. <sighs> All right. Ogan, I'm going to fix you somehow. Even if that means I have to fight you. Sorry, old man. I'm here, whether you like it or not. Elfin, how many times must I say it? Just leave me here and go on your way. How oh, enough. Huh? Quit your belly aching and lie down before I have to knock you over. What? What in the God's name are you? So you're a stinking murderer. A sinner, huh? Great. Like I give a damn. It ain't my job to choose who lives and who dies. I ain't no God. If it's in my power to help a body, I'll be damned if that ain't what I'm gonna do. That's there why I go. became an apothecary. That's what I believe in. There. That should keep you breathing for now. And just what do you plan to do next? Ain't it obvious? I'm gonna fix you. And not just your body. I'm gonna whip up an elixir that'll have you feeling like a new man. Just you wait, Ogin. Fix me? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Dashed out there like a man on a mission. But heck, if I ain't got the faintest idea of what to do next, I ain't never seen. I ain't never seen the like of those symptoms. Should you ever find yourself losing the courage of your convictions, remember what we learned together. <laughs> Come to think of it. Time when Zeph and I were studying together, found something that conveniently can cure anything ever and all at once. Alfin, say Alf. Remember when we were small and you got real sick? Feared you were going to die. Slowly but steadily, your body cramped up until you couldn't even hold a spoon. And those terrible purple blotches. I could hardly bear to look at you. I've been trying to replicate the elixir that cured you, but to no avail. The traveler who saved you was really something else. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> too bad we weren't of a mind to ask for the recipe back then, huh? One time, Zeph. So much for remembering. Hmm. Wait a minute. Couldn't hold a spoon. Hasn't Ogan been dropping his tools? Purple blotches. I can't believe it. I but... couldn't be. 
It's too much of a coincidence. Or is it? Hogan has the same disease I had. And that means there's a cure. The same cure that saved my life. <sighs> God, think Alvin, think. How do you make the medicine? Bah, who am I kidding? I couldn't even remember my own symptoms until now. Damn it all. Ah, it must be in here somewhere. Think. Great. There, that should do it. You're a lucky boy, Alfin. The disease had all but taken over. You had a day or two at best. That I just happened to come along when I did, with this potion in hand. <laughs> Fate works in mysterious ways. How long did I labor to brew this elixir? And from ingredients that I may never see again. To tell the truth, it was meant for another, but that hardly matters now. saves your life and will have been more it will have more than served its purpose sleep tight son you'll be feeling better on tomorrow oh did he he wanted it to save someone else oh that's dang Traveling Paca theory. At least I think that's what he said. He goes around the world helping people who are sick, who are hurt or sick, like me. Shucks, I hope I can do that too someday. Mm -hmm. Still awake, are we? Hmm? What's in the potion, you ask? Ha <laughs> <laughs> You weren't jesting when you said you wanted to be an apothecary, what were you? Very well. Who am I to refuse such an inquisitive young mind? The elixir was brewed from the feather of an ogre eagle, a fearsome beast whose wings spanned so wide they could block out the sun. They terrorized the skies above the forest of Ruba, not far from Orwell. Imagine that! boy like you would be wise not to wander there. At least you get snatched up and spirited away above the clouds. <laughs> Damned if I know how, but I remember now. All I need is the feather of an ogre eagle. And the flame take me if the forest of Ruba ain't just outside of town. <sighs> You've saved my life again, stranger. Let's go. Hang in there, Ogan. I'm gonna fix you up as good as new. Well, I think that might be a good spot to end it because I don't think we're gonna finish it all in one part. So, thank you guys for watching, and we'll finish off on story up in the next.